All right, welcome back. Um, let's continue. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Carriage? It's all broken. Totally covered with crud. Totally. Let's take their mail. Give the letter. Give letter to me. Okay. No, I just want to read it. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Okay. Sh let's go in. I think I think Laverne's voice is from that game I have no mouth and I must scream. I think she's the girl in that. But I definitely need to check. Talk to mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. <laughs> you wouldn't be him, would you? Great hat, man. Oh, yeah, can I take his hat? I know some dudes in a band who need roaches for hats like that. I wonder if this is a thing where if I talk to him for long enough, he'll actually respond? Later, dude. But I don't feel like trying. Can I push the mummy? That would not be respectful. You're right. Besides, I might get caught. Let's, ah, let's go in here. Oh, who are you? John Hancock. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Have yeah. you tried decaffeinated coffee? I'm talking about decaf. Then you have to try the caffeinated coffee. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't, since he needs the law for posterity and will part with it. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet it's George. I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold. We get some heat in here. How come you sign your How name so big? How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. Well, that's a good answer. I actually have astigmatism myself. Let me see your palms. What? Really? Let me see your palms. <laughs> All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Uh, I think it's a big something else. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Patty. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a, uh, uh, writing the... We are drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. <laughs> Wimp. 
I really like John Hancock's voice. Okay, got John a motor. Carter, dude. You have a what? <laughs> oh, these are his knees. Cause look, I could see his hands, but I was like, what the hell is this? Okay, time capsule. Oh, this is nice. Hey, keep your hands off that. Okay. Uh oh, George Washington. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Hoagie. Well, I'll wait. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. He's pretty respectable. I'm wondering, like, do we have a reason to help this, uh, cold guy out? Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. I'm sure it's not the only log. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge, and take heed. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? This log, it's like uh, the log lady on Twin Peaks. Which is one of my favorite shows, by the way. It's going what? to be a famous log. Okay. Let's talk to George. Old Georgie. Uh, excuse me. Yes. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. <laughs> the outhouses. Those outhouses? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? Yes, sure. Oh, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich, how quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at this uh, suggestion box. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendment to the Constitution. All right, we're back. Uh, sorry, I had to cut there for a second. Let's see, smoke detector. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever, huh? That's cute, but also a little sad.
Anyway, sorry I uh, didn't talk very much the last time, but I think I'm gonna try to fix that. I'm just not too sure how much people want me to talk. I don't know if you want it to be kind of like a more relaxed playthrough. Okay, I don't know how to get through this door. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want it to be more relaxed or kind of like me talking all the time, but uh, just let me know in the comments below. Can we open the grandfather clock this time? Yeah, we can. Oh. I'm guessing it conceals the entrance to a secret lab. But why can't I go into the secret lab? Okay, let's go here. George sleeps here. Ooh. Here I am. Don't get your carols in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Oh yeah, Mr. Washington, that's me. What's up? Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? Do you know where I can find Red Edison? He's probably in the basement workshop again. He's always tankering with some invention instead of running the inn as he ought. My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. I actually don't know what's in a Hoagie sandwich. I should Google that. So, are we supposed to steal her cleaning supplies? Like, I don't know why I would need that. Oh, ha. oh shit. Get away from that. It's a good thing I finished there quickly. Now, scram. They just don't make founded fathers like they used to. Wait, no, I want to go back up there. Look at this. It's, a uh, Max. Maybe that would be a good game to play next. Um, one of the Sam and Max games. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Uh, we want... We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Sweet. Can I take this one? Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. Okay. Now, last door. Wait, distinguished gentleman. Push. They're straight already. These look better on velvet. The late Max Addicts. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. Oh. Wine bottle, yes. Thank the Lord. I can't use wine bottle with Hoagie. Grody, man. 
Grody. I don't go through people's underwear. That's not what I was going for. Hey, what's that on the plan? It looks like a secret backwards message. What? Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Okay, that actually got me kind of excited. I don't quite see how it can fly. I don't understand that technical stuff. So, what's the purpose of this room? Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Is that a horse? What? Uh, hi, horsey. Hi, yourself. <laughs> wow, you can talk. Yeah, nice, nice teeth. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. Good answer. I gotta go. See you later. Okay, glass. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, it, I've gotta put them somewhere. Isn't that milk though? Like, why would you put it in milk? I don't think I want this. I really don't want that. Oh, what is happening here? Question is, <laughs> which one stopped and which one's the real McCoy? I love I'm those sure question marks. We are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edison's, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Oh, I'm definitely the model. I'm the model, should I take my clothes off now? No, you most definitely <laughs> should not. That's rude. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. <laughs> okay. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> He's just not even going to answer us. I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where you're from. Man, this guy is Where sassy. Where exactly did you come from? Uh... The future. The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload it here. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. <laughs> we artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? I don't want to say sorry. Too late. Well, that was a very nice conversation. Uh, I'm going to end this here, and I'll see you guys next time.